Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to show you how to edit text in Photopea. Text plays a crucial role in visual communication. With Photopea, you have all the tools that you need to customize and elevate your text, whether it's for social media post, a logo, or a creative design. Photopea got you covered. First, let's create a project. Let's click on new and select any one of these. I'll go with this first one. To access a text tool, you can find it in the toolbar on the left hand side of the screen. Once it is selected, you will see a variety of options to customize your text, including a font type, size, color, and more. Once it is selected, if I hover over the text, now you can select your text and edit them. To edit the text, you can simply just click on this character panel, or if you can't find this one here, you need to go to the windows and then select character. Now at the first option, we have this spectral SC as the font. If you click on this, you will see tons of options to find the font. For example, if I select this one, the font is added. If you want to change the font of just this part, just select this and then find the font that you want to add. You can do the same with the other one as well. If you want to change the text of this whole, just select the selection tool and then select the layer that you want to change the text of. And once you selected that layer, now select the text that you want to add. The whole text is now changed. Now let's move on to the size part. This goes same with the size part as well. If you want to increase the size of just this part, I will just pick up the slider and increase the size. Or you can also just select here and wheel up and down to increase or decrease the sides respectively. Again, if you want to change the whole text, you can select all of this text and then increase or decrease the size with everyone. Also, you can do the same with that as well. Just select the selection tool and then increase or decrease the size of your text. Now let's move on to the tracking. What does tracking do? Let me show you. If I select this text and increase the tracking, you see the space between the text is increasing. If I increase all the way to the right, you see there's much space between the characters. Also, you can do the same with the other as well. You can move the slider to increase or decrease the spacing between the characters. Also, you can do it same. Here, select the layer panel, select the move tool, and then add the tracking to add all of your text. Now select this, add one and then zero to reset it. And once you're happy with it, let's move on to the other one. If you want to change its color, just select this and select any color that you want. And just like that, just select an OK. Again, if you want to change the color of just one part, just select that part and then change its color. And there you have it. And once you're happy with it, just click on this tick mark and you are done. There are some more options here you can choose from. If I select this and select the selection tool, you see with this, the italic mark, here's the bold one, here's the italic, here's all the uppercase, this one is for uppercase and the smaller uppercase as well. You can use this for the power. And there are tons of options that you can choose from. But let's stick with the original one. Also, there's one more option around the character that is paragraph. You can use this option to center align your text. You see, if I have some text here, I suggest you do the center align text. If you click on confirm and select this text layer, and then center align it. You can simply select both of these and then select the selection tool and align them into the center. If I select the background layer, 
This will allow me to recenter the text with the canvas. And once you're happy with it, you can also increase its size. Go to the character and then select the selection tool and then click on transform controls. If I select this, this will allow me to place my text to anywhere on the screen. I'll select with the back down and then center align it again. Select the selection tool, hold the shift key to move it in a straight line. You can also explore additional effects and styles and add shadows, stroke or even apply a blending mode to create depth and make your text pop. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.